the director of Elvis and Moulin Rouge, Baz Luhrmann, is diving deep into historical epics now with his new project, Joan of Arc, set at Warner Bros. Pictures. Quick fun fact, I called this into existence just 11 days ago before the announcement today. So, you could say that years of watching The Simpsons has given me some prediction powers, even I am scared of this. But moving on, the legendary director will bring to life the powerful story of Joan of Arc, the teenage saint and warrior who led France to victory in 1429. Despite her success, she was captured and burned at the stake for heresy at just 19 years old. Later, she was declared a saint by the church. Her inspiring story has fascinated filmmakers for decades. Some of the most notable film and TV adaptations of her life include Carl Theodor Dreyer's silent masterpiece The Passion of Joan of Arc from 1928. This is held as one of the greatest films of all time. The multi-Oscar nominated Joan of Arc from 1948 starring Ingrid Bergman. And this is one of the most familiar ones, The Messenger, The Story of Joan of Arc from 1999 directed by Lou Besson starring Mila Jovovic. This one got all the attention for its epic battle scenes but received mixed reviews. And lastly, a TV miniseries featuring Lili Sobliesky. Now, the big question is this, who will Lerman cast to embody this iconic figure? The official casting call hasn't dropped yet, but we can make definitely some educated guesses based on his casting pattern. Lurman's casting style is all about charisma and versatility. He loves actors who can light up the screen in both dramatic and visually stunning scenes. If you can't rock a glitter suit in slow motion, you might not make the cut. He also looks for talent who can handle high emotions, theatrical flair, and even a bit of singing and dancing. If you can cry, dance, and belt out a tune in one scene, you're in the running. He's also known for spotting rising stars and big names. Think Austin Butler or Leonardo DiCaprio. If you got talent for a Golden Globe or an Oscar, you're already on his radar. And if you can't do all that while wearing sequins, well, better luck next time. You know what he's not known for? historical accuracy, so don't expect him to cast a 19-year-old French actress. So knowing all this, here are my top guesses, and a number one who I think he will end up casting. Alright, vámonos! First up, Florence Pugh. Florence Pugh will be a fantastic pick. She's shown she can handle intense emotional roles, plus she's in high demand right now, and fit Lurman's knack for picking talented actors who are already making waves. Then. We have Sawyer's Ronan, if, if that's the way you pronounce her name. Sawyer's is definitely a strong contender. She's crushed it in complex roles before, and she's got the dramatic skills and charisma to do Joan of Arc justice. Then we have Anya Taylor Joy. Anya Taylor Joy is another great choice. After standout performances, she's proven she's versatile and has a striking presence that could totally fit a role as intense as Joan of Arc. Then we have Thomasine Mackenzie. Mackenzie is a rising star who could be a perfect fit. She looks really young and she has that ethereal yet grounded quality that could really capture Jones' innocence and strength. Now, my next two top choices are gonna be controversial, I know, because of race. But remember, Baz Luhrmann is not known for historical accuracy, remember that. So, first up, I have Zendaya. Zendaya will bring something special to this role. With her powerful performances, she's shown she can handle deep emotional roles and she can do singing and dancing, which Baz Luhrmann just loves, which is something that also Baz Luhrmann cannot resist. And then we have Jenna Ortega. Jenna Ortega will also bring a fresh take to Joan of Arc. She is Hispanic, I know, but she has a strong resume. She can already prove that she handles complex and emotionally charged roles with ease. Her youthful energy and intense acting style could make for a powerful portrayal. Besides, She's already thrown her hack into the mix, because I guess she knew of this movie beforehand, or she just has my same prediction powers. So either way, she's already interested in this role. Alright, so let's go back to more conventional, but still interesting choices. Next up we have Emma Corrin, that's the one that I posted on my tweet, I was throwing that name into the mix, because she's already known for her acclaimed role as Princess Diana in The Crown, so she has awards on her back. And she could also be a great fit for an iconic character because she's already played one in Deadpool and Wolverine. So she can handle acting and she can handle big productions. So this could be right up her alley. Then we have Hunter Schaefer, who's already recognized for her role in Euphoria. And she has a big 
huge social media following. Plus, she's known in the fashion industry and she goes to all those runways, fashion runways in Paris, Europe, New York, where, you guessed it, Baz Luhrmann is also attending. So they may already know each other. They may already be friends. She may already be in his radar. So finally, here's who I personally think will end up getting this role. That actress will be Kaylee Spaney. If Baz Luhrmann continues his pattern of working with actresses he's already familiar with, well, she could be a strong contender. She's already a rising star, proving with Alien Romulus two things. One, that she can sell tickets. And two, that she can kick ass. Plus, she has shown potential for leading roles and even landed an Oscar nomination with Priscilla. Add to that that she's not a household name yet, she is on the cusp of stardom. And that also, she has singing training as well. Well, good old Bass will not be able to resist her. So that's my list and my top choices, but I want to know what you think. Who do you think Bass Lurman will cast? And who will you cast? And I also want to know if he should strive for historical accuracy or not. Your opinion and your comments are greatly appreciated. As always, my name is Hector Navarro, and I'll see you on the next one. Adios.